Innovation Award is important because it serves both industry and academia. So this is a place where industry and academia can meet and where academia can show to industry what cool technology they have to offer and where industry can show what cool use cases they actually have for research. The number of applicants increases each year. So from 2014 until now, now we have reached a very nice number of 25 worldwide valuable applications which could really realize the applications with our hardware. So the jury from research and from industry chose six finalists to compete here for, the, for being the winner of the KUKA Innovation Award. These six finalists, they all were provided with the same hardware and software from KUKA. So they had the same basis to make it easier for the jury to judge about their performance. And each team came up with a different solution for the flexible manufacturing challenge. So we're focused on small manufacturers. Small manufacturers often make things in small lot sizes, meaning that they need to switch over what they're doing, maybe several times a week, maybe every week, even once a day sometimes. So we use an adaptive gripper that allows us to grasp a wide variety of different objects, and we integrate that with robust perception that allows us to find these different objects in the world. I think the user interaction side was very much a challenge because when you're designing this, the, the goal is that you want the people to understand what the robot can do and what it can accomplish. And so designing user interface and sort of gives them building blocks that they can use to do something fairly complicated with the robot, that was a, a challenging aspect. We were trying to address the problem of robot programming in a new environment. So when the robot is brought to a new environment, it needs to be reprogrammed according to the environment which we are trying to solve using integrated vision system of 2D and 3D cameras and along with the capabilities of the KUKA EVA robot. Here we use artificial intelligence to find the objects in a given workspace. We use machine learning technique to actually train the object before finding it in a given environment. For uh, the concrete challenge, we went to the Audi factory in Belgium and uh, they gave us a concrete case we had to pick individual parts for cockpit assembly and put them in the right boxes so that the operator can handle them in an easy way. Our application is a bit special because we don't want to use anything artificial, so we use all real parts. We use a 3D camera in combination with local laser sensing. On top of this, we use the built-in sensitive force capacities of the robot so that we can have a fully integrated and safe solution. We are system integrators of KUKA robots. We already have established connection with KUKA. We created a robot bin picking application together with human robot collaboration, where the worker does not need to take the part out of the bin and it doesn't need to feel the weight of the part. So the vision system comes from the company Scape Technologies, where the usual projector is used with two cameras and a structured light. So we are not using lasers for uh, getting 3D information and that makes the system even more safe for the human because there is no risk for eye damage. We are looking into novel applications for the construction site of the future. The bigger scale of course at building sites, uh, there we can't use um, any vision but we are going to use uh, force talk sensing. We actually taught the robot some skills for assembly, like the joining and measuring operations and also cutting the uh, sticks apart. So uh, in a way we just teach the robot hands-on through human-robot collaboration. So if it doesn't find a position or if it uh, can accurately position itself, then we move it to the position by hand, just move it around and then it will adapt to, to the environment. So we as software engineers we're looking at how actually those robots' arms are programmed. So basically we, are, we want to enable non-technical experts to be able to program robots. For now a solution, an uh, operator which can be a non-technical expert can control the robot directly using his smart jacket and smart glove and afterwards he's able to assemble automated workflows based on the data he recorded during the teaching process. Mainly we got the question, how did you do this, or where is your camera? And we just say, just say no, we don't use an optical tracking system. So that was one of the main questions. So 
Human-robot collaboration is an ever-emerging topic because with the mobility of the Flex Fellow and also the active mobility of the new systems we will provide, you will always be in a human-robot collaboration scenario with these systems. Yeah, we really see a, a big gap between fully manual assembly and also fully automated assembly. And there is a big, huge gap in between in the dexterity and the flexibility. And that's why we really believe that human-robot collaboration can fill in this gap and have a really new, exciting field in robotics. From our perspective, the human-robot collaboration is very important because in the future, humans and robots, they are going to be collaborative, it's where the robot performs partially the task and human does the rest of the task. So it's going to be a future and it's, it's very important. We would like to bring these research groups a bit nearer to our technology so that they can learn in depth about the interfaces we provide because we think that's the easiest way to realize these interesting applications which you see here. If you take a look on robotics with the product development, more or less everything is done. But uh, if you get into application, really making the system supportive to people, that then it's important to get academia and the industry closer together. We show that we are open to the world and that the world is able to interact with KUKA on a research level. This is where we get our new innovation. They, uh, you know, they worked for four months, they worked hard and they came here, they've been demoing for four days. It's really an awesome uh, experience to see them come up to the challenge. The whole Innovation Award team, like Daniel, Ben, uh, Sebastian, has been really helpful the whole way through, and so have the other teams, honestly. It's really precious to be here and to, uh, to, have, to be a part of a big event with KUKA, which is a world leader in robotics. Uh, it like you go to the to a new world, you know, to go to the next step. Like like you can improve yourself, improve your idea, improve everything. Like you see the new thing on the world. Orange Intelligence.